Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at Alice. She's five years, six months old. She speaks Mandarin as her primary language. She is learning to speak English at school. And her teacher's concern is that she is very difficult to understand. Her parents don't have concerns about being able to understand her, but they do have language concerns, which we'll address another day. Um, for today, we're gonna focus on her speech sound. You can see in this slide that I have identified all of the errors that she made on the test of articulation is that ITAP, which is the test of articulation and phonology. It's an iPad app uh, that we produced with Smarty Ears. And so you can see that her errors are in red and the things she did correctly are in green. So the next step is I'm gonna take these errors and I'm gonna plot them onto our Venn diagram. And you can see here that most of these errors are falling on the English only side. So sounds that only occur in English. And given that Alice is a native speaker of Mandarin who's learning English as her second language, these are not going to be a concern for us. Now there is one sound that she produced in error that fell in the middle of the Venn diagram and that is the K sound. So what we did with that was trial therapy or a dynamic assessment to see if she could produce that sound with support. She was quickly able to do it after a model, then she self-corrected, and then she used it spontaneously in a correct fashion. So we were not concerned about the speech errors that she was making. Now another step that we did was to look at the phonotactic constraints as they relate to English and Mandarin. So here's an example, she said stone for stove. So we looked at, um, we looked at Mandarin and found that one, that V doesn't exist. And we also know that if, if sounds exist in final position, they are nasal sounds. So that made sense to us. Another one I'm gonna move down to the bottom one on this is she reduced consonant clusters. There are no consonant clusters in Mandarin. So that one also made sense to us. Um, and then the second error here was similar to the first one where we were expecting a the in final position and in Mandarin that's not, that sound doesn't exist. So the errors that she's making make complete sense given that Mandarin is her first language. So we aren't concerned about Alice's speech production given what we see here.